Are you thinking about moving to Bowling Green, Kentucky, but you have no idea where to move to? I know it's a small town, but it could be one of the most confusing places ever, and you don't want to move to the wrong part of Bowling Green, Kentucky. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring up a map, and I'm going to show you a few things you need to know about Bowling Green so that you can find a couple of areas you might like to live, but more importantly, a couple of areas you might hate living in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And we're getting after it right now map already just see how green it is i mean people love <laughs> their space man it's a lot of space. yeah we got a lot of i see right around uh right around bowling green bowling green itself is not that desirable uh for the most part but like warren county north just the county outside of the of the uh the city there is, is you know that's where you get into the big green area um, so uh, up north of here right well, there south South Warren down around Alberton, right in there. We're right here. More. Just down a little more. Yes, that's probably a little too much south, but that's the most desirable area. It seems like. Why is that? Man, I, schools. But so if, you school if people rankings, move relocate, is this where all a lot of the new construction is going? Is is south? Dude, we got new construction. See, it's absolutely everywhere but yeah south warren over here to the plano store straight to the right plano to the store over in that area there's a lot of new construction the plano you know, store that sounds like a hot spot is that the hot spot right there <laughs> no it's not much <laughs> it's not much but uh you know there's some old subdivisions there that have you know uh an acre or so half acre and then you know, all the new construction, man, you're coming in probably around mostly about a quarter acre. But, so, I mean, where's this? See green. I see the uh, old Avaton High School gym. Now, so you got, yeah. But this looks like, I mean, you get you have these like little mini pockets of houses. Is that kind of what Kentucky is? is you're not going to see these like 500 home, 1,000 home developments. Is it smaller pocket developments? Yeah, yeah, but there's getting to be a lot more now. Up closer to town, there, there's a big uh, area that has a lot of uh, probably quarter acre or, yeah, quarter acre lots, and there's a lot of them in there, but it's just a lot of, you know, farmland. Okay, let's develop this, you know, these, these few acres or whatever. Yeah, so most of the people move into – let's say Bowling Green area, they're obviously not moving to like downtown. They, they typically, you know, are going to find some kind of section city suburb. So one mm -hmm. right now, one of the hottest ones is this out. How'd you call that? Alberton? Yes. Yeah. And that's new construction. What other areas? They're just all over, man. Which one? Um, uh, I mean, you can even go North a little bit up by the national Corvette museum. Dude. Bowling Green is amazing. You've got general stores, you've got national Corvette museums. Like, this is some redneck yeah. stuff. I, I dig it because that's what yeah, I'm, the, I love. The Corvette factory is there. The museum is there. We have a race track for the museum, and we got Beach Bend Park. Uh, that's the, uh, let's see what they call boy. it. That's Ooh. where the uh, Hot Rod Association goes to race. The, uh, uh, what do you call those guys? Uh, hell the racers the drag racers on discovery funny cars no the well yeah they, they of course you know the hot rod association goes there right the, here uh, at the motor park dragsters yeah that's the uh national uh corvette museum motor park it's uh, that's that's new within a couple of years gm bowling green assembly so so, yeah. I mean, just from the looks of it, this east side has a lot of, like, in, in industry, industrial, jobs. Yeah, and right on out, yeah, up about northeast, there's a big in, uh, industrial park. So, we got a battery plant coming in. We got a big metal forming plant. Is it like a there. Tesla battery? No. Uh, no. Uh, Ford, I think it, it is. Okay. So, that's going to bring – so, what – because typically when we see that, then we're going to see a lot of new construction go around where these jobs, is, is there a lot of building going around here? Well, right there, let's see. Uh, yeah. Right there, Plums, right there where your cursor is. Yep. Right behind 
there, I think, is uh, can't really tell. I think that's yeah, that's going to be um, Northridge, and they're building up to the back side of it. So that's over three hundred homes already, and they're around two twenty five. Look at all well, that space. Now you're not you're not far enough north. You knew this. You know this road though. Yeah, I live like I can see that road from my house. <laughs> You know every road, so that's why. Yeah, I'm. I'm that's that why they, they they call you because, dude, these small towns are sometimes tougher to figure out because there's so much space and pockets. Yeah. So, like, I have three kids all under the age of ten, and we like to have you know obviously parks and and obvi and more families and and just when they come home they can go outside go play ride bikes mm -hmm. and stuff. What area is that typically? Well, that would be like, like North Ridge. I mean, that, that's a neat little subdivision. It has sidewalks and it's, uh, you can walk and ride bikes there. Most all of these. Is it North Ridge Drive? No, it's uh, actually, let's see, right there, right in the center where it says Quebec Way. Where... Yeah, right here, North Ridge. There's North Ridge Drive right here. Yeah, and now they're building like the northeast side back along that main road. And all that's oh. new houses. Okay, yeah, you can see it there. That is like yeah. totally different than new construction in a lot of areas. Like they still have kind of windy roads, and that's it. Still looks like there's a lot of trees. It's let's see if yeah, it'll let us. Now there we go. So yeah. this is kind of a, a a typical newer construction. You still get bigger yards. Yeah, they're about a quarter acre, you know, they're not, yep. might be a third acre on some, uh, but basically they're around average, probably 1,500 square feet, mostly that. What are these you houses? Know, How much are these houses typically, give or take? 220, 225 now. Roughly. 225? Yeah. But man, it's, you know, they're, they're built and before they're, I mean, as soon as they're finished, as soon as the uh, building inspector signs off, there's people moving in. So, you know, it's a hot spot. Hot spot. Okay. And you can, and sometimes these Google Maps are not updated. So, this is probably some of this oh, is built cool. out too, eh? Yep. Yeah. A lot of it is. That's why I want, that's why I was thinking about, you know, doing, doing the video like you're showing there, showing like, okay, you can see where they're starting construction. Let's just hop in a car and go take a look, you know, that kind of thing. Yep. And you do it. So just, what, is there any other areas, maybe like cool golf course neighborhoods? <clears throat> um, uh, yeah. You got aquatic center over here. Yeah. Warren That's, central high school. This golf course. We got like seven or so disc golf courses. If you're into that. Ooh, some fall. Yeah. But yeah, the PDGA does. They they come here and they call it blowing green because it's so windy when they show up. <laughs> <laughs> this is really pretty. So these, yeah, this is all good. just farmland out here, surrounded by trees. Yeah. What other area? What about on this west side here? I don't know Not much. Too much about that there's not really much going on you know uh right out there because it just seems like they're starting from the center and just building out you know it'll be, it will eventually get there now the uh the golf course is going to be around the airport if you can which is what's the golf do you know what it's called yeah crosswinds but now that, that's that's a public course. Now there there is a private course here, uh, Old Stone, and then Kenny Perry. He's down in Franklin, just down the road, about uh, twenty miles or so. That's his golf course. The club at Old Stone. Yep. Ooh. Now you're talking about million dollar homes. Okay, so these are nice developments, and then you can actually be right by the course. You can live right by the course too, huh? Yeah, there, there's some houses you can live right on some holes there. Yeah. See if it lets us go down there. I want to see these. Because a million dollars in Kentucky gets you a lot more than most places. You're going to have to get, let's see. They won't let me are, zoom down there. I won't. <laughs> up on the backside, up, up, where it said, yeah, the, the northeast was 
that's more of the bigger houses. The rest of them, there's a lot of townhouse homes there too. Man, that is awesome. It's private, man. It's private. I guess that's why you can't get to zoom in. That's pretty. So a million dollars in Bowling Green, Kentucky, in an area like this, what kind of house are you getting? Like 5,000 square foot plus? Is it 8,000, you know? Yeah, I don't really know. I haven't I haven't looked at that part of, of, um, of it. I, I really don't know. I know they're huge. Uh, my daughter works with a financial advisor, and he lives up on the north northeast up there. And he's got a really nice house. Now he's asking four million for his. Yep. But you know, it's just one of those specialty houses and that kind of thing. But gotcha. Uh, there's some other big areas. Uh, River View, uh, River, and we got River View, River Green. I don't know. Rand Paul lives in one of one of those. So they're you know they're million dollar homes there too. But I think it's it's private. But now there are some high dollar homes out uh, Cemetery Road, which is north a little bit. But and then, okay, and then I see like Plano Elementary. So anytime you got elementaries, yeah. there's got to be housing developments around here. So it looks like there's quite a yeah. bit of homes in there this is. section here. Yeah, there's a lot of brand new and a lot of new going on now. These are pretty interesting neighborhoods, man. Big, open lots, tons of space. See, I keep trying to remember what you said about uh, we take it for granted, and, and you're right. I, I don't see anything special, man. I see a half acre lot or an acre, and I'm thinking. To me, this is like, dude, how how money's that? You got the kid; they got to play football. Like, you know, yeah. most places when you, you know, this is probably more than that other neighborhood. Maybe you're three, four hundred thousand for this. How much is this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So now I can come here for three to 400,000 and I get a half an acre and I've been in a apartment, you know, in a city that, mm -hmm. or a condo that's, that's more expensive than this. These big lots, just like, you know, in Tennessee, um, you know, it, it's just, they're, they're not what people are used to seeing to see this in most places in, in America, you got to be like hours outside of the main town. And from mm -hmm. here, you're just you. I mean, you are at the southern tip of, of Bowling Green. You're you're like right there on the really off Scottsville Road. That's that's the main area. That's where all the shopping and all the eating is. I mean, you're just minutes away. And yeah, and you got the pri you got the club. You know, golf. You've got the Sam's Club. You got everything within minutes. So to me, that's pretty cool. You got your schools. You, you're completely self sustained. I get all the space in the world. And for, you know, if I want to go above even more, you know, four to $500,000, I'm going to get, I could easily get half acre, full acre, nice home. Uh, and I'm not hours outside of anything. So that's kind of the lifestyle right there. Yeah. yeah I mean, it takes nothing to just zip right out of town and you got your own, you know, your own acreage or whatever. Right. And I see, it looks like you got a lake over on this side here. Yeah, that's barren. Full on boating, fishing, wakeboarding, that whole everything. Everything. Cliff jumping, whatever. Brewski <laughs> drinking. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> of course. Wait, wait, wait. We we're talking Kentucky. This might be some bourbon country, huh? Well, probably more, probably more uh uh beer out there than it would be. I don't All know, right. man. <laughs> Good. All right. So just from looking at that, I mean, the Mammoth South Cave. is busy. So we've got Mammoth Cave just to the north there. That, oh, the yeah. Green okay. That's, you know, we got that. And so what's Mammoth of, Cave? That's a large, over 400 miles of, that's a 400 mile cave system. Largest in the world. You're kidding me. No, man. Check it out. That's they right. just discovered, I think, thir eight or 13 more miles of cave. It's pretty cool. Wow. So how far? That's just, that's not even far. No, it's just up the main. It's, see, right here, we're all right there on the interstate. But yet, easy access, and, and you could be off, you know, like me. I'm, I'm three miles from the interstate, and I got an acre, you know. 
And yep. I look out back, see a, a field with cows in it, and I see deer and turkey and fox and all that stuff, you know, just three miles from the interstate. Cool. Quick access. So this mammoth cave part, I mean, you, there's probably entrances all over, and you could spend yeah. days in there. Oh, yeah, you can go up there, you can camp in there, you know. Oh, you can you can camp too. That's cool. Yeah. Wonder if it'll let us down there. Oh yeah, let's take a tour. Wow, this is cool. See, this is what I got. I got to know. I want to come check out Bowling Green. Oh hell yeah, man! Look at that. That's cool. And that is just outside of town. Yeah, it's just up the road from the museum. Um, and another lake up north of here. Nolan Lake. Nolan, yeah, Nolan Lake, yeah. So, what about people who um, just want to kind of invest in Bowling Green, like lake prop? Is there a lot of lake houses on these? Oh yeah, yeah. There's a lot of uh, uh, some some houses. Uh, uh, you may or may not be able to get a boat dock. It depends on what the Corps of Engineers says. Exactly, because do so, they uh, raise and lower these? Because yeah, yep. Yeah, that's something a, that a lot of people don't know. I remember in Tennessee, uh, same thing. Any kind of, you know, these lakes that are dammed off, whatever, they, they are raising and lowering that per season, correct? Yeah. yeah. So it's very, if you want to buy a, 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 you know, a lake house, knowing different coves and knowing different bays is really crucial. Yeah, you got to know if you're going to have water year round or not. And that's something you can look up pretty easy and see what, what yeah, yeah. Just yeah, and just make a call to the Corps of Engineer too. They'll yep. they'll direct. They're pretty good. They're pretty good about it. Sweet. Cause yeah, that dictates if you can build a dock or not, or how far it's got to be out and stuff. Right. So finding one with a dock would be, be be the best thing. Yep. A lot of campground. Cool. So overall, I mean bowling greens right here, that the center of it, but a lot of the actions going, you know, it seems like south of it is very busy with lots of homes all different styles yeah and super private million plus country club to new areas with new schools and then that northeast section has a lot of um of your indus in industrial and industries so there's new construction just pouring in like crazy up here um and that also means you so are those areas are you seeing a lot more appreciation then because of of the people wanting to move to those areas Oh yeah, yeah. That, like the Northridge, that, that appreciated quite a bit. I know, and I'm going all the way back to like oh five and things like that. But you know, those those were a hundred and five. I think they were like a hundred and twenty five or a hundred and five thousand dollar homes. Now they're over two hundred. Yeah, and a lot of you know uh, recently. So and it's just I can't believe the house the prices are getting for those houses now. The good news is that's still pretty affordable compared to obviously the majority of the country, but I know if getting into that house right now, whether it's interest rates are high, low, whatever, like in all these new jobs coming, I'm going to see equity built up in my house. And that's why I love it. When you guys reach out to us, you're able to tell us two or three things you like about an area, two or three things you don't like about an area or the things you need while living here in Bowling Green. And I'm going to be able to show you two or three different areas that will fit you perfectly while living here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. But there's only one way to do that, guys. You got to reach out to us. You got to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Do whatever it takes to get a hold of us because days, nights, or weekends, we got your back when moving to Bowling Green, Kentucky. And until the next video, we'll catch you later.